Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven, and today is another exciting day. We're back with Colin, our good man, and the beautiful 2020. This is the Tremor. This is the monster 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. What people climb over mountains, fly over seas. They drool on buses to get a truck like this. But Colin never, he didn't have to go through all that to get this truck. But, <laughs> but uh, we just did the Ram Air diff cover video. Now we're on to the engine flush. But today we're not doing a flush because uh, we just lost it, so no big deal. But the engine flush cleans all the carbon out of the turbo and it's really uh, beneficial. But today we're gonna be doing the motor oil change. So take a look at the oil that we're putting in right here. We're putting in the Max Duty Diesel Signature Series and this puts a much higher film around the rings and it's gonna get you less uh, oil, con less oil uh, consumption. You're gonna have less blow by and you're gonna have less soot thickening because of the film and it's 100% synthetic. So if you didn't know, the oil that comes in your truck is actually a synthetic blend. They call it full synthetic, but it's uh, actually 25% synthetic or more is what full synthetic can be. So now we're putting in the real stuff. This isn't uh, watered down orange juice. This is the 100%. So let's kick it off. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead. All right, we got our 16 mil socket. We got her all cracked loose and now it's time to let the uh, liquid charcoal flow. Yep. It's going to be a spitter. And there she blows. Oh yeah, she was a spitter. <laughs> <laughs> but hey that's a part of the lubing game it's loads of fun and uh, you just got to be okay with getting a little messy sometime as we always say on the channel if it ain't fun it ain't messy and if it ain't messy it ain't fun that's why the wetter the better so she's chugging out Crack the filter. We're good. I knew it was going to be a shooter. Yeah. So that's the floor, and that that's Colin. Look at him. <laughs> he got he got the money. <laughs> he got all the money. <laughs> got a little something for you to check out. He wants to show you this here. Beautiful piece he made. So for the tremors. They have an optional worn winch that's uh, $3,000 to your sticker price. Uh, my buddy and I actually designed this uh, winch bracket right here. And this allows you to use a Harbor Freight Apex Badlands 12,000 pound synthetic line winch. Wow. Uh, this is all uh, 3 8 steel. Uh, you're going to have to, it sells as a flat pack. You have to weld it yourself or find a certified welder to put it in, together for you. Uh, bolts into the inner frame rails, grabs your uh, cross member here. And that allows you to do a 12,000 pound uh, pull with the, uh, the provided synthetic line winch. That's beautiful. Oh. So he just got done wrestling the alligator and uh, it ended up denting the hell out of the uh, filter. And now it's just a little messy. It's kind of like working with paint. That would be the best way to describe diesel oil. As you can see, it's rubbers, just like paint. There she is. And there she blows. Swarm. Yeah, still nice and hot. Wix oil filter, which I always recommend if we don't have an AMS oil filter. And the Wix filters aren't good for quite as long. They're good for about half the life of the AMS oil, oil filter you'll see on the Wix box. They're good for about 3,500 to 10,000 miles. Now on this truck, since we're not doing a flush, I'm going to recommend he come back in about three to 5,000 miles and just change the filter, but the actual oil will be good for the full 15 to 25,000 miles. Now, there's also conditions to that. You want to make sure 
you don't have a lot of fuel contamination because if you do you actually thin out the oil which you don't want to do but uh, that right there is the pure liquid gold so pure so clean almost untouchable and Colin took the rubber off he's gonna put that on a second get it all lubed up but uh, so pure amazing how good that looks and then we'll be threading that on. Now, another thing about the Amsoil filter, it's got an upgraded anti-drain back valve, holds up a lot better. That's what keeps the oil in the filter, depending on how it's mounted. So on your next cold start, it just pops on like butter because that oil's already primed and it stays in the filter. So those are some nice benefits. This filter though is a very high quality filter. And um, I highly recommend these if you can't get the Amsoil filter. And uh, if you don't know, Wix is actually the first to make uh, thread-on filters, and I believe that's in 1956. So Wix has a long history of doing what they do, as does Amsoil, the first in synthetic in 1972. And uh, Amsoil was API certified in Texas in 72, but they started way, way back in the mid to late 60s. So a lot of time pioneering uh, all the different lubricants and then we did the video on his diff cover which is the banks ram air diff cover which is right up here in the corner we just got done doing the gear lube and you can see the fins from the back you can see those little fins sticking down and that's the ram air so now he's just wiping her up getting her all pretty and clean and now ready to just pop her on she should thread on like butter just hand tight and uh and then we'll cork her up and it'll be time to go up top and put in the liquid gold. All right, it's that time to put in the liquid gold. We got exactly 13 quarts of this stuff going in. And uh, this is the very oil, the signature series, that's good for up to, on a 18-wheeler, we did 80,000 miles and the oil was still good. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what you can get out of this. Now, obviously, you don't want to go into that type of mileage blind without checking your oil level on a you know regular basis. I check my oil every month on my personal car. And uh, I always make sure everything looks good, make sure it feels good. You know, I always like to finger the oil, make sure it looks right. Nice, tall, poor, beautiful. He's got guts in the high wind today. <laughs> That's guts. Beautiful. So that'll be eight quarts in. We're gonna get the rest of this liquid gold in and we're gonna be out and about trouncing around. And before we put this last uh, quart from the last bottle in, I just wanted to mention what makes this such a big deal is um, you just don't burn the oil like the other motor oil. And if you wanna see that, we actually have a really good little test thing down below. If you're on a laptop desktop, click show more. If you're on a smartphone, click the little teeny weeny reverse down arrow. You'll see all that test data and how this burns off at about half the rate it is the best modable one and uh, so you're not going to be adding all this oil plus you're not going to have all that oil that goes by the rings and goes into all your emission system your catalytic converters all that gunk basically builds up over all the years so not only does it save you the time from topping off your oil not only does it save you the time from changing all this oil you know this this is basically doing about two to five oil changes is what this replaces but you also have the better fuel mileage because you don't have as much parasitic drag on your crankcase. And uh, the list goes on and on and on, but if you wanna say how much is it really gonna save you, a normal oil change like this will probably save him probably around 300 to $700. And that's not including the how much longer the turbos will last in the motor. So it's exponential. And as I always joke around, I say the AMS oil is actually quite a bit less than free. It actually pays you back to use it. And uh, just amazing. All right, now we're on to our diesel injector clean plus cetane boost. So this is the power trio. You got the cleaning where it cleans the valves, injectors, carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber, lubricates your fuel pump, lubricates the injectors. And then you got the bump, bump and cetane up to four points in cetane. And what that does, better startability, a little more horsepower when you're towing, and you're gonna see a bump in fuel mileage, and right here, up to 8% better fuel mileage. So that really, really helps out. 
and uh, it really uh, gives you that extra little power under the pedal. So Colin's going to go ahead and start putting it in. And we're going to put all, all of these in, and we're going to do a cleanup dose. It's really going to clean up the injectors, but down the road, you basically just throw a bottle of this in every full tank and um, as a maintaining, and it actually ends up saving you more money in fuel savings than what it actually costs, and then your uh, injectors last longer. You got the Golpa, Golpa, Golpa. We're gonna throw these two little guys in. I've had these sitting around in my car for a while. These are for cars, little, uh, little um, like station wagons and stuff like that. A little bit smaller package size. And we're gonna be out on the road ripping around. Colin's gonna mention the rest of the info on the truck and the winch. So here's our winch kit that we came up with utilizing a Harbor Freight winch. Uh, this is the Apex Badland synthetic rope winch, uh, 12,000 pound pull force. And uh, you can get these brackets here. We designed all these. They are all uh, laser cut uh, from the fair lead all the way down to the winch bracket. Uh, that will allow you to stick this winch between your frame rails. Uh, if you're interested in one, you can check out our website, gormantechservices.com slash winch. That's G-O-R-M-A-N techservices.com slash winch. Uh, and accessing the fair lead, or the uh, free spools right through this little hole here. That'll free spool the winch. And you can just pull this guy right up. Beautiful. Money, money, money. Okay, Love whatever it. Whatever you need, pull it on in. All right, we just got to let you hear how quiet this is. Amazing with the fuel additive and the oil. And now you can shut the hood. We'll let them hear it. It's crazy how quiet this truck is. Unreal. That is amazing. Right, we're just cruising around the block, getting some driving impressions, seeing what Colin thinks of her. And uh, yeah, it was it was great. We did the motor oil today. We did the rear gear loop to the AMS oil severe gear. Put the Ram Air diff cover by Gail Banks. Power. And, yeah, got the fuel additives in, so we will get some good driving impressions. Smooth so far. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're out here on Boulder Highway in Tropicana. And this is what they call uh, Henderson, pretty much. Let's see what she sounds like. Wow. That's smooth. Holy cow. Oh my God. This thing's as quiet as a Tesla. Holy cow. That is crazy how quiet that is. There's a gorgeous day in Vegas, 66 degrees out, so that's what it looks like. So we've went about 0.22 mile. So far, what does she feel like at 0.3 mile? Wow, that's good. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Trying to break the tires for you never hear. Yeah, yeah. That's a 10 speed auto. <laughs> that thing shifts so smooth. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. So, yeah. So, you, you happy with the truck so far since you had her? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's a nice little change, but it's a good truck. It's a good truck to have over, uh, well, it's a more purpose built truck. And, and definitely, I'm enjoying it. Off-road capabilities are great with the driver package. That's awesome. And how we were talking earlier about his old Raptor. If you haven't seen it, check out the video up here in the corner. Really good video on his Raptor. What do you like most about this one? Ooh, a wheel spin. <laughs> wow, that's smooth. That is smooth. And I wanted to mention, if you're new to AMSOIL, the best way to get it is as a six-month preferred customer. 
saves you about 33 bucks per hundred dollars you spend plus there's all kinds of promotions throughout the year like uh, you get five bucks for your birthday five dollars for every hundred dollars you spend towards your next orders and then they send out all different types of promotions but I just wanted to show you what you get you're gonna get a quarterly Amsoil magazine looks just like this and this is the dealer edition very similar but it gives you all this different information on all these products on how they're different than OEM fluids and it gives you a lot of great technical data and what you can expect out of the products and it's going to help you with your equipment to last longer run stronger and uh, they give all kinds of great ideas and applications on how to use the products and uh, really really good and uh, if you want to try that all you do is click down below you're going to see a little reverse down arrow if you're on a laptop desktop click show more if you're on a smartphone it's a little reverse down arrow and you'll see all my links down there when you use my link i'll be your amsoil dealer i'll be able to answer all your questions on the products in the future if you ever have any questions and uh, this is what i do about 70 hours a week so i'm always taking care of all my customers and i appreciate you checking out my channel truck runs good i think we chirped all the way through four years <laughs> oh my god that thing runs so good so what would you estimate the power difference after the oil and the fuel additives, the cetane boost? You know, it definitely had power before. Uh, definitely would chirp first, second gear. I, I think that might be a first getting into fourth gear and still chirping. <laughs> so there's definitely a little bit more there. <laughs> That's awesome. Turning radius we don't have. <laughs> so what's the biggest pros to this compared to the Raptor? What would be the pros? This is more purpose-built for towing and more purpose-built to be a truck. The Raptor is, it's an off-road machine. It, it's, it has its place and it's in the desert doing 60, 70, 80 miles per hour. Wow. Uh, this, it's got its power, it's got its speed. <laughs> this is not a light truck. And That's we're doing amazing. over 80. That's amazing. But we're, we are in Mexico right now. Uh, we amazing. just hit 80. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, close course uh, professional driver yada 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 something dark side i can't believe that this truck runs <laughs> i'm completely through it that's unreal so the pros are it's a real truck the cons any cons to it uh, it is a three-quarter ton truck it is heavy uh, it's not easy to park um it doesn't fit in most parking garages it, it, all the all the common truck cons um, it's not a half ton. It doesn't just easily get around, uh, but it does tow. It does. It does truck very well. Is it is it worth it for the money? If you want the off road package in a three quarter ton and you don't want a power wagon and you want a diesel, yes, this is worth the money. All right, it's worth the money. So there you go. That's all that counts. He he spent the money on it, and you know that's what I like to do. Is I like to get out in the fields and talk to real people that have real things and see if it's worth it and. There you go, it's worth it. And this truck was built with off-road in mind and that's what it does and it does that well. So it's got its uh, electronic locking differential, it's got its limited slip front axle, uh, it's got factory 35s, it's got a factory two inch lift kit, it's got pretty much everything you need, all the bells and whistles. available to head over to the area of the 704 entrance. Sorry. Uh, pretty much everything you need for a solid off-roading truck from the factory. And it's got it. It's beautiful. All right, Colin's the best for always being a part of the channel over the years. And not only is he the best for helping out with the channel, bringing his trucks over, helping Jeff, but he's one of the luckiest damn guys in the world. He won the he won the big Kahuna snapper on uh, breaker bar. I did. And make sure you comment on the video in the first thirty minutes if you want to get entered to win. Because I'll tell you what, people really do win. <laughs> I can't believe how lucky he's gotten. I totally randomly mixed these cards, and he's won like two or three big things. I think I've got a snap-on <laughs> shirt. I've got uh, some gift cards. I've got some wrenches. You know, it's definitely synthetic oil protection. Eben's got your back. Make sure you use him for all your AMS oil needs. All right, so you got the scoop, and uh, well, anything else we should add, Colin? Uh, protection, protection, protection. All right, cheers to protection, protection, protection. Check out this playlist here. That's on his other truck. And uh, we'll see you back next time. See ya.